So after our first week of solid work in Missoula at the Outdoorsman Church, we found ourselves kind of without a plan. Everything we had organized and laid out and scheduled kind of started to fall apart and it was a little scary, but we also knew that there was an element of our summer that also needed to be time to rest. So we spent a few days um, just getting settled into the trailer a little bit more. Um, from day one, it has been kind of just a rush of necessity of, you know, rushing to get to Dillon with the travel or with the U-Haul and rushing to get unloaded and really just we had like a day not even a full day before we were expected here in Missoula and um, did that week of work and it was fantastic and then moved on to not knowing what was next which was a little scary um, but again we spent some time in Dillon spent time with my dad um, Hopefully I'll be able to overlay some pictures of the reservoir we stayed at just south of Dillon. Um, it doesn't look like a whole lot from the interstate, but it was actually really nice. The spaces are very separated. You get a lot more um, personal space, even though there's a lot of people there. Um, and with our dogs, they're friendly, but they're very loud. They like to bark. And so it was nice to have enough separation that they weren't constantly barking and being told to be quiet. So our first couple weeks in the trailer just getting settled, I was surprised by how well the entire family handled it. Just getting used to um, cooking outside on the gas, um, two burner gas stove, um, or how we figured out to, you know, just arranging things at night, getting everyone settled and, um, how much storage space is in this trailer. There's a lot of storage space, although it's not all designed very well. It's not necessarily laid out in a very useful way all the time, but um, yeah, it was, it was fantastic. So we then moved on to Lincoln, Montana. A couple days later, spent some time enjoying just being together and enjoying God's creation and we had the privilege of seeing the Lincoln Parade again the first time in a very long time we got to be a part of that well to see it um, we weren't in the parade um, and then at the end of the week we actually had kind of a surprise um, at the end of the week our friends new friends in Missoula at the Outdoorsman Church invited us back for a fireworks show and barbecue. So um, we decided to go ahead and um, come down and just spend a day or two. That was our plan. We, we needed to figure out what church we were gonna go to next since several things had kind of fallen apart <laughs> and fallen through. And it was, incredibly refreshing and exactly what we needed just coming to spend some time with friends celebrate our country and our friends and family and all the blessings that God has given us and um, so we had a barbecue fireworks um, one of the gentlemen at the church um, has his fireworks his pyrotechnic license um, anyhow he this is the first year in 20 years I think that he didn't have a show that he was doing professionally so he essentially did a professional show here at the church so it was very close <laughs> um, but also very cool so uh, the girls also got to enjoy some more time with their new friends um, the interns from Texas who spent two weeks here at the um, Outdoorsman Church with um, Peter and Joanna the pastor and his wife here at the Outdoorsman. So they did a little karaoke, which I'll hopefully show you here. Hopefully this covers the song just enough that we don't get zinged. But we also found some work to do while we were 
back down at the outdoorsman and helped with the trim around the I guess focal wall in the sanctuary the mountain scene it wasn't on video did it happen maybe I should have had it yeah, probably. At this point, two weeks in to our summer, we had realized that everything we planned was not necessarily what God had planned. He's still doing big things. He's still moving. He's still working, but it's just not in the way that we anticipated. So instead of having a consistent constant one week at a time at a church and moving on God provided us with some really good friends encouragement and um, just exactly what we needed um, so by the end of the week we not only had been recovered a little bit from the stress of moving and unloading and just diving into work which was great but we'd had some time to reflect and time to just acclimate to being in the travel trailer and at the end of the week we also had a plan god had provided um, an opportunity to spend a week at camp and also after that we have a superior community church so next week you'll get to see some of that so Thank you for watching. We're so, so thankful that we get to be a part of what God is doing and we get to see him working in and through all these different Christians and all these churches. And um, even though it's not exactly how we had planned or envisioned, we are incredibly blessed and thankful to see God working and moving and impacting lives and um, changing hearts towards him. So thanks for joining us on this journey.